Good evening, CLC. I'm Naomi Feda. Thank you so much for joining me here this evening. So as you know, I have been talking about the promises of God for quite some time. So I'm just going to continue on in that. So one of um, my, I shouldn't say my favorite scriptures because there's so many, but um, a well-known scripture to me is in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. And this reminder to trust in God with all our heart. So let me read it to you. This is from um, oh, the New American Standard I happen to have with me right now. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And so there, you know, sometimes those promises come with some stipulations, some things that we need to do in order to see the promise fulfilled. This is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So to lean into him, to trust him, to acknowledge him in everything that we do. And the promise is that he will make our path straight. But the interesting thing was that as I was reading in the concordance, it doesn't necessarily mean just to make our path straight. There's this element of so opening up to my notes. There's this element of removing obstacles from our path and thinking about it as um, not so much like, oh, he's going to keep you on the straight and narrow path, but also this element of, Sometimes there's things in our way, things that seem insurmountable to us, um, whether it's finances or health or um, a need for a vehicle or a need for housing or um, a job or children, all of these things, you know, because God is so concerned about each and every part of our lives that he truly cares but this this aspect of um in the amplified it reads in all your ways acknowledge and recognize him and he will make your path straight and smooth removing obstacles that block your way you know as you think about your life and the things that are going on and the things that worry you or concern you Rather than staying in that that fear or that uncertainty of worry, just trust, like put our hope and our expectation fully with all our heart in God to trust in him. And there is a big difference between saying that we trust him with our mouth and really leaning into him and the ele this aspect of, wrestling with him you know in in prayer in belief and because you know what it is hard to truly trust um it's not something that comes easy to us or and not leaning on what we understand um i personally believe that this is a lot of the um result of the fall when you see adam and eve in the garden and Eve took that fruit. And it says that they, if they ate of the fruit of good and evil, that then she would be like God, knowing good and evil. And so um, through this, I, I think that we inherited this nature to reason, thinking that we understand life better than God. And we don't. It's true. He knows way more all um, beginning to end, then we could even comprehend and his plan is perfect. But then the responsibility lies with us that we don't trust, right? I know that I can be just as guilty as that, you know, going about worrying about something rather than really focusing in, in prayer and letting him bring that peace into my heart to just direct me and to calm that and so that I can develop 
the the eyes to see and ears to hear what he's doing and where he's directing and really so much of that comes as we develop the relationship with him and just pray for wisdom and asking him to help us see what he is doing so i just encourage you whatever it is that is going on in your life trust in him with all your heart don't lean on your own understanding but run to him um seek god bring it to him in prayer and see what he will do because it's his promise and he wants us to really cling to them to bring him uh to bring him the promises in prayer and rest wrestle with him a bit about them he doesn't want us to um be placid and just say oh well i think that you promised it but i'm not sure if it's for me it is for you his word is for you and his promises are true and we have to be chasing after them i'm just going to close out with a brief word of prayer so father i just thank you um, for each and every one listening and lord we come to you and we trust you father i know that it is challenging to trust you at times and so i just pray that you would give us um, the faith that we need even though we only have faith as small as a mustard seed you said we can come and we can ask so help us to trust you and lord we thank you that you will direct our paths and remove the obstacles out of our way and we just give you honor and glory and praise in jesus name amen so god bless you and look forward to seeing you in church on sunday be sure to check us out in person at 20 west main street in catskill meeting at 10 30 on sunday mornings we'd love to see you there